This is a very strange case because the judge, same judge, originally ruled in favor of Google, uh, said, no, they didn't, st I learned Java, which I thought was strange. <laughs> I learned Java, of course, he was a mathematics major in college. Yeah. And uh, Google did not steal your code, Oracle, case dismissed. Oracle appeals, the appeals court says, well, I don't know, Oracle copyrights yeah. the API. Supreme Court says, well, we can't rule on that, throws it back to the judge, Judge Alsop. And now the court is deciding, the jury of 10 people is deciding whether APIs can be copyrighted. This is a yeah. very bizarre idea. Well, so so the, the Federal Circuit, the appeals court that you mentioned, uh, they handed down that APIs are in fact copyrightable. Right. So, so Oracle the, immediately. So the jury is now saying right. whether Google's use of these APIs is fair use. Ah, that's right. Because it is, they are copyrightable. The court said so. Which that that's what the appeals court said. It's a terrible and the strange thing. thing about this trial has been that uh, both sides are sort of proceeding in their arguments as right. if that didn't happen. But it is, of course, <laughs> uh, what what the upstairs judge said, and so right. it is what the what the jury has been instructed. So there, the defense is it's a fair use of a copyrighted API, which is even more arcane, frankly. Do you feel as you watch the jury? And by the way, they've seen everybody. Larry Page testified. Yeah, Larry Ellison. Week via video. What is your sense of the jury as you watch them? Do they see them understand what's going on here? Well, so it's, it's been a very technical trial, yeah. um, and there's been a lot of discussion over the distinction between declaring code and implementing code on the one hand, and then uh, the, the factors of fair use on the other hand. But this jury has been very conscientious, and they are they're obviously paying attention. One juror has gone through uh, two full notebooks and wow. is on to his third notebook. Good um, and even both sides uh, agreed to let the jury take their notes home this weekend to study. Uh, so, so it is. There are a lot of developers who are who are concerned about non-technical people making this decision that has a, a a lot of import for the technical community. But these people are really trying to pay attention at least. If the jury finds for Oracle and says no, there's no fair use defense. Presumably, Google, didn't the Supreme Court say, we're not going to rule on this until this trial? So the, that is what, what the Supreme Court said. And, yeah. and just as a matter of practice, uh, they declined to rule on almost everything that comes their way. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> right, petition normal. for cert, and right. They, right. they grant a very small amount. And so uh, no matter which way this goes, it's very likely that one side or the other is going to appeal again. The same court that, uh, the same appeals court uh, that ruled on the copyrightability question before we'll hear it again. Oh, and it does, oh, it doesn't go to the that, Supreme Court. It goes back to no, the. No, it goes back up to the oh. uh, the federal circuit. Oh, um, and people. then and then at that point uh, there may be another petition. For would cert. it go to so the Ninth Circuit or would it go back to D.C.? In this case, it's a federal circuit, and okay. it's it's a weird loophole because there was very early on in the case there was a patent question, and the federal circuit hears cases that involve patent questions. So a lot of a lot of uh, legal observers have suggested that the Ninth Circuit might have not come to this right. uh, copyrightability decision, but right. the Federal Circuit would. So it would go back to Federal Circuit, and, and of course, either side Supreme is going to yeah. appeal it. I mean, there's no way this doesn't. Uh, at least they don't try to get it back into the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. But the that only... would would that would that uh, are, is it settled that APIs are copyrightable, or is would that be up for? Well, the Supreme Court can do whatever the Supreme right. Court wants. <laughs> right. um, but in terms of uh, at least federal circuit law, that is what the court has said. And so hmm. Uh, hmm. the Supreme Court's likely to hear, uh, is more likely to take cases where there's uh, what's called a circuit split, where the different uh, right. circuit courts have come to different decisions on this. And so uh, you may start to see, we're, we're uh, speculating that we may start to see uh, companies that would sue about this, including a patent claim because the federal circuit is the court that will say this. Um, but if another circuit, if the Ninth Circuit or, or you know, another circuit were to, to rule otherwise, then maybe that would be a case that goes to the Supreme Court. Wow. Hmm. So this is actually a fairly straightforward trial for this jury. It's a fair use trial. Yes. Uh, as, as straightforward as fair use trials can be. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, with a jury, uh, you know, they're not allowed to do any more research than the evidence that's right. presented. And both mm. the technical questions and the fair use questions uh, 
you know, you, there's a lot of background there if you want it, um, but they're not, they're not allowed to look at any of that. I mean, my understanding was that the jury has actually been fairly carefully selected so that they don't have technical experience. That's certainly the way it's gone in previous trials. They right. don't want anyone who's got, who's got a lot of geeky experience. Right. No developers allowed. Yeah. No, no, right. exactly. There was one developer and he got, he got cut before. Uh. Uh, so, so it is, it, it's, uh, again, they're being very uh, attentive and very conscientious, but it is people for whom Java two weeks ago was, was probably uh, <laughs> not, not something they were familiar with. How was Larry Ellison's testimony? Was it interesting? Um, it was interesting, uh, and uh, and you know it's, it's uh, it was a video deposition, and and oh, he wasn't uh, testifying; oh. it was just a deposition. Right, that was a deposition. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so far, um, the only live testimony has been the people who were there in person. But of course, that is included Eric Schmidt. It's included Larry Page. Uh, it's included Andy Rubin. Um, so it is really kind of a, a who's who of. Uh, of not just Google, but uh, but Sun, of course, and Oracle have uh, a lot of the employees have worked for uh, the whole set of these, and so um, it has been a really interesting trial from that perspective. What's your sense of the judge, William Alsup? I mean, it, it, we hailed him for saying, "I learned Java in the previous trial," and coming up with the right answer in the previous trial. Uh, on the other hand, some of the things I've heard him say, he was laughing about GNU. He said, wait a minute, the G in GNU stands for GNU? And uh, he, I don't think he liked Jonathan Schwartz's hamburger analogy. <laughs> uh, what do you, and the judge will have a lot to do, especially in a case yeah. like this, to influence the jury, right? Mm -hmm. what, what's your sense? Uh, so he does seem, uh, he, you know, he knows this inside and out. Uh, and I do think, I think some of the, uh, the, you know, he said that that recursive ac acronym GNU it didn't make any sense. And I think that's sort of the right thing to do uh, in terms of making it understandable to the jury. Mm -hmm. I think acknowledging that there are a lot of these geeky things that we take for granted, that, that when you know, it's, it makes, you know, of course, uh, GNU stands for GNU. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that it is jury, silly. You know what? He's right. It is silly. Yeah. The yeah. jury needs to, uh, I, think, I think it works well for the jury to be reminded like, okay, this is something that is a weird quirk of this community right. and right. I can, it's not a reason to, to tune out. It's just a, a thing to know that, right. that that's something that, that uh, nerds some baggage weird. the case brings. Yeah. Uh, so what's next? Uh, so on Monday, we hear closing arguments, and, uh, and that will be another hour from each side uh, making their best case, and then it goes to the jury, and they can deliberate for you know, as long as they need to. Um, and if they find that it was not a fair use, if they find for Oracle instead of Google, uh, then there will be a damages, uh, 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 another round of, of um, communication about damages. And, you know, Oracle has said that this may be a nine billion dollar trial. So, uh, so we could see, you know, if they if they really don't like Google's side, they could award, you know try to award nine billion dollars to Oracle. Um, no, no, you're doing the same thing, Parker, that I did. We're leaving off the point three, and yeah. <laughs> when you're talking in that uh, number, point three represents three hundred million dollars. So, yeah, well, let's be fair, dollars. nine point right. three. Yeah. Billion. Uh, so <laughs> but but you could also imagine, you know, in, in the in the world of of courts, it, you could also imagine that they say, you know, Google infringed, but it wasn't willful. Here's a dollar, uh, right? And yeah, yeah, here's a dollar, yeah. and and maybe that makes a case go away. Honestly, uh, it's really hard to know what comes next. Yeah, to me, it's not about the money. Of course, I'm not the one who would have to write that <laughs> $9.3 billion check. It's about the issue of whether copy, APIs should even be copyrightable. I guess that's a done deal. It's, it, it sounds like it, but I think it's, a, it's an incredibly dumb decision. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, well, the, and the one, the one sort of saving grace is that a lot of people look at this and say, okay, that may be what the Federal Circuit said, but would anybody in the world except for Oracle sue over this? Well, and that's true. Like, yeah. everyone else uh, it knows that they're, I mean, even Oracle's on both sides of this, right. where people could theoretically sue Oracle, but right. no one wants to. No one, no one wants that decision to be out there in the world. And so, uh, so maybe the damage will be contained by the fact that only Oracle would be so bold as to sue over it. I think bold is, is possibly the wrong word, not, so, not one of the ones I... Like. How about greedy? Uh, greedy, yeah. vindictive, oh, yeah. spiteful, <laughs> grasping, <laughs> wisely, you know, those sort of words. Those are good words. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, Parker, thank you so much for joining us. Parker is Director of Copyright Activism at the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which I support monthly with a donation, and so should you, EFF.org, because they do so God's work. Uh, really very, very important. Well, thank you. Thank you, Parker.